the transformational movement to this new data-based organization and to this new way of making decisions can be very frightening for many people. Because they think it depersonalizes marketing and that it takes away from the creativity and the intuition and the empathy. Actually, it's the exact opposite. Think about music, okay? People think of music as being creative. People think of composers as being very creative people. And of course, that's correct. But music has incredibly tight analytical rules. If you hit one note wrong, it sounds awful. Okay? So to say that these creative musicians don't have any analytics in them is completely false. It is precisely because there are tight rules of behavior that frees up the creative mind to stay within the rules and then explore creativity within the rules. There's still plenty of subjective judgment made and the marketing person still has the power to do the right thing. And if you're willing to look closely at the data and add to that data your methodological sophistication, in my case econometrics, you gain a great deal of insight that is not competitive to intuition, but that strengthens the intuition. You can be a more empathetic marketer, a more understanding marketer, a marketer who helps people have an experience that totally delights them. We're really, really at the crux of a very, very important set of decisions that are going to be made across the entire world of marketing and sales. And it starts with understanding how to use big data. We can learn about people in a way that we can customize and experience one-on-one. -on -one. And that's, at the end of the day, what people want. They want to be treated as a human being. They want to be treated with respect and dignity and care and concern. That's what they want from brands. And big data and analytics opens up that capability in a way we never, ever could have done before. And frequently, um, very intuitive-based, creative types will resist a little bit the idea of using data to evaluate how well they're performing or their plans for going forward. But what they find out is over time, if they're right, and if the work they're doing is effective, the numbers will support it. And if they're not right, and what they're doing isn't effective, the numbers will reveal it. And that's fair. That's the beauty of it. The science helps the art, and the art helps the science. <laughs>